to BMKing. Today we have the BMW M4 Cabriolet with the competition package. You can see this color, it's a Java green individual color and from the inside it has some individual things as well, such as the stitching which fits the outerior as well. This M4 Cabriolet has some adaptive LED headlights which look pretty mean from the front. Down here it has some sporty looking bumpers and of course some huge air vents which give this car a very aggressive look. In the middle you have the iconic BMW kidney grille and as you can see we are now at Bergwerf BMW. As you might have noticed this car is absolutely stunning. The M4 convertible competition comes with a 3 liter turbocharged inline 6 cylinder engine. It develops about 450 horsepower and it goes from 0 to 100 km an hour in only 4.3 seconds. So it has the BMW adaptive LED headlights and when we zoom out a bit you can see how aggressive they look. It also features the large air intakes and the sporty looking bumpers. So from the front this car looks absolutely stunning especially with this individual color. But now let's take a look from the side. When we take a look at the wheels we can see that they are 20 inch light alloy wheels with blue brake calipers and you can see the double spokes which stand out a bit. Of course you can also see the M emblem at the bottom. Beautiful rims. From the side you can see the breather which looks very sporty and it has a line going all the way to the back. When we look at the wheels you can see that the rims they stand out a bit which makes this car look even more broad and sporty. The line that goes all the way to the back also adds to the sporty design of this car. Let's see what this car looks like from the rear. As you can see it has the nice sporty looking LED tail lights. Absolutely stunning. The back looks very broad which gives this car a very sporty look. And you can see the four exhaust pipes at the bottom. They look insane. This car has some nice curves to it and here you have a close up of the exhaust pipes. They look beautiful but let's listen to what they sound like. right here is the reason for the sound. So here you have the engine. It's a beautiful 3 liter turbocharged inline 6 engine producing about 450 horsepower. Absolutely stunning. With of course the M power over here. Nice carbon fiber trimming around the engine. The engine is simply a piece of art, but so is the interior. So as you can see from the inside, it's actually very luxurious for a sports car like this. From the inside, the first thing you would probably notice is this leather stitching. It's in a green stitching that fits the outside color. Furthermore, it has a pretty advanced infotainment system with the screen over here. And if you look over here, you can see that the gauge of the car is not completely digital such as in the other cars, but it's still a bit old fashioned. It does, however, have an OLED screen down here so that you can still see some digital information. Also, of course, it has a head up display, which you can see over here. And apart from that, it also has some lane keeping assist options and of course a pretty advanced cruise control. If you look over here you can see that it has a Harman Kardon surround sound system and in the middle of the car it has some carbon fiber which gives this interior a very sporty look. And of course there's also some carbon fiber here under the display. As for space in the front I feel like I have more than enough space. Uh, also if you open this you have some extra space over here with a phone holder. And of course there's always some space over here and at the door with a cup holder. I really like these seats, they are M Sport seats 
and I really like the stitching done on them. The green stitching really makes this car a lot more personal because it's individually done. Of course at the seats you can see the M4 emblem over here and I can see some vents over here. Now let's see what happens if we start the car. As you can see like I said underneath the speedometer it has some old LED screen which shows you some extra information. For example underneath the speedometer you can see that the action radius is right now 21 kilometers which means I pretty much have to fuel up this car. Furthermore, it shows you how many kilometers an hour you are driving and the temperature in this room right now. The steering wheel has some Alcantara leather around it and in the middle you can see some nice stitching done in the M colors. On both the left and the right side we have some shortcut buttons to control everything about this car. The display over here can be controlled with either touchscreen, with the hardware controller right here or with your voice. Personally, if you want to enter a destination, I prefer the voice control because it's a lot faster than having to type all the letters yourself. So basically, this car has an amazing interior. Everything is complete. The carbon fiber trimming looks amazing. And of course, the green stitching that fits the outside Java green color. But let's take a look at the infotainment system. If we take a look at the navigation, we can of course enter an address, but let's see the map first. At the map you have a lot of information, such as where their gas stations are, but of course you can also find restaurants or whatever. And if you press the menu button, you go back to the main menu. The connected drive shows some live information, and here it says a notification about the action radius. In my car, you have the car settings, such as lightning for the interior, which you can change to the classic and sport, the ambient lightning, I will leave it as sport, and you can control the brightness as well. Furthermore, you have intelligent safety and ventilation and whatever. In the iDrive settings, you can connect your mobile devices and the touchpad and everything. You can change what the main menu shows and you have your driver profiles. Down here you can look at the cameras of this car. So let's just press this button. And you see the side of the cameras. Here you can see that one camera shows this car here on the left of us. And this car here that's over there. You can just change the brightness and the contrast. If you press this parking sensor you can look around the car. This car does not have a 360 degrees camera but you can still see a huge part of around the car more than enough. And if we press this button you can change between the sport, sport plus and comfort mode. From the back it has some LED tail lights which as you can see look horizontal and they are very wide. Furthermore, you can see these four exhaust pipes. They look very aggressive and when you listen to the sound of them, you notice that this car is extremely powerful. The boot of this car is also very long. This is because it's a cabriolet and it of course needs some space for the roof. Furthermore, it has a camera down here under the trunk. This is so that you can see how you park. And now I will show you something pretty cool. But first, let's take a look at the trunk space of this car. The trunk space is fairly small. Um, this is of course because it's a cabriolet and you can see that the roof of the car is in here. But now, let me show you something extremely cool. When you press the button, this happens. You see the car going up, then the roof goes up. This function is to help you to take things out of the trunk. Because it has such little capacity, this is very handy. As you can see when this raises up, it's a lot easier to take stuff out of the trunk. And right now you can also see the storage space, which is probably not enough to fit some real luggage. But this does look very cool. Now this is maybe even the coolest part of this car, closing the roof.
Now let's see what happens when you close the roof of this car. If you want to close the roof, all you have to do is press this button forward like this. As you can see, the back opens up. And there it comes. Beautiful. If this doesn't look cool, I don't know what does. It feels like I'm playing GTA. And there goes the windows. This felt absolutely awesome and I actually have a huge smile on my face right now. It really feels like I'm playing GTA. Now, also very important, let's see the back of this car. If you want to sit in the back, you first have to pull the lever to pull the seats forward. Then you can press this button to create some extra room. And remember, I put the front seat in the position I normally sit in. So actually, I seem to have enough space if the seat is forward. My headroom is okay. My head is touching the roof line a little bit, but it's still okay. The seats are okay. They are not the most comfortable seats because as you can see, they are pretty vertical. And you sit pretty upright like this. For long road trips, I would not like this a lot. But let's see our leg space if we pull this backwards and move the seat back like I was sitting before. And as you can see, it's touching a lot. So if I would sit comfortable in the front, someone in the back would have a little trouble sitting. But if you have not, but if you have not so long road trips, it's okay, but I would not recommend sitting in the back for more than two hours. Still, the stitching looks great. From the side, you can see the Harman Kardon surround sound system. And yeah, it's okay. Down here, you have some cup holders, some storage space over here. So for my final conclusion, in the back, it's not so comfortable to sit. But you don't buy this car to sit in it with four people. You buy this car to sit in the front. So that was the video for today of this beautiful M4 Cabriolet. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this video, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.